Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to learn about the lightning record pages in Salesforce. So in this video, I'm going to explain how you can create and deploy custom lightning record pages in Salesforce. So first I will show you a demo record form. So right now I'm in the lightning app builder and in Salesforce, we create the lightning app pages, record pages and the home pages using the app builder. So this is the custom record page that I have created. So I will open it in edit mode. So here I've created this record page for the opportunity object. So using the components from you can see on the left hand side, I have created this whole form and I've created this for the standard opportunity object. And in the same way, you can create a record page for the custom objects as well. So here I will scroll down and show you what are the fields sections that I've added. So in this record page, I have added chatter component, activity details, related list, and also the detail sections and the activities. And in opportunity object we have a path so i have added the stage path of the opportunities and this is the highlight panel that i have added so in this video i'm going to explain you all this how you can add highlight panel related list details activities chatter components and all the other fields and sections and also i have deployed this custom record page on an application so so this is the custom application on which i have deployed this opportunity forms so you will see when you will open opportunity record in this application ui according to the record page that you have defined so i will also explain the deployment of the record pages to the applications or the app pages so now we are going to see what are the record pages and how we can create one and before starting that i would like to introduce our newly launched salesforce admin course so here i will take just few seconds to introduce the course so this is the Salesforce admin course that we have launched and it contains 10 modules with 50 plus hours of video content. And once you purchase this course, you will get a lifetime access of this. So here I will scroll down and show you the course content. So these are the modules that we have covered in this course. So as of now, we have kept the price as $199. And once you buy this course, you will get a lifetime access of it. So let's move back to the topic. So with the demo record page, you might have an idea like how the ui of a record page look like so from the record page we get the details of the recorder and all the activities and the information related to that specific object record so in the lightning record pages we can design the structure of entire page according to our requirement in which we can add columns sections fields and other functionalities so right now i'm on the setup page of salesforce lightning and from here we will start the process of creating the custom record page so in Salesforce, we also have the standard record page that comes with the standard object. For example, we have opportunity object. So here I will go to the opportunity object. So in the opportunity object, you will see the opportunity record. And when you click any of the record, the page you will see next is the record page. So this is how the standard record page of opportunity object look like. So in the same way, I'm going to create a custom opportunity page that we are going to deploy on a custom application or you can also use that as a default record page for the opportunity object. So to create the lightning record page, I will go back to the setup and in the quick find box, I will search and select lightning app builder or you can search app builder. So now under the heading user interface, you will see lightning app builder and to create a new record page, we will click on the new button. So in this example, we are going to create the record page. So I will select the option record page and then click next. And here we have to enter the label. So I will, so I have entered the label as a lightning opportunity and the object here is going to be the opportunity. And after entering the label and the object name, you have to click on the next button. So in this window, you can see the template options. So in the left hand side, you can see various options from which you can select the template format for the record page or there is another option to clone the default page layout. So here we are going to choose the standard template. So I will select this one, header into equal region. And after this, click on the done button. So right now we are in the Salesforce Lightning App Builder and here you will see the selected template format. So as I've told you that we are going to create this record page for the opportunity record page, I'm going to first add the highlight panel. So you can see this is the record page that I have created. So this is the highlight panel you can see at the top. So to add the highlight panel, you have to go to the components and here search and select highlight panel. And from here, you have to drag and drop it to the template region. So now you can see the opportunity highlight panel is visible on the record page. And here you can also see these are the three action visible on the 
visible on the highlight panel so from here you can select and control the number of highlight panel so for example i give it five so now you will see the five actions are visible in the highlight panel and for example you want to change it back to three so we will select three and again it will show the three actions and now to show the opportunity stage i will show you back to the record page the default one so here you can see this is the stage path for the opportunity record page so how you can add that path to this record page so for that you have to search the component path and you will see this is standard component so you have to drag and drop it to the template region and now the path is also added to the opportunity record page so there are two options to display the path either you can select linear or the non-linear format so i will select the linear one so with this path component you can track the opportunity stages and after adding the highlight and the path we are going to add tabs to the record page for that i will search and select tabs and then drag it to the template region so right now we can see there are two tabs that is related and the details and if you want to add more tab then you have to select the tab component and go to the right hand side of the window and here you will see the add tab button so as you click on the add tab it will create a duplicate tab so from here you can change the name so here i am going to label this tab as activity so for that so for this i am going to select the tab label as activity and then click on the done button so as you can see right now we are having three tabs related details and activities so in the related tab we want to see the related activities so now to add the related activities you have to again go to the components and here search and select related activities sorry related list so this related list are going to display the related information to the opportunity record and for the details we have to again search and select the component so here i will search and select that is record details so i will drag and drop it to the details tab and similarly for the activities i will add the activity component so these are the activities i will drag and drop it here so now you can see we are having three tabs with the information so now in this component we are going to add the chatter component so for that we will search and select the chatter so here you can see the chatter component is here and we can drag and drop it to the template region so in this section you will see the chatter component so this is how you can add the components to the lightning record page for example you want to add some fields so in the lightning record page you can't directly add the fields so when i will drag and drop it here it, it will show the restriction so we can't directly add the fields to the record page so for that first we have to add the component that is field section to the record page so i will drag and drop the field section and within the field section you can add the fields so from here i will add some fields that is amount and applied discount and also we can add the custom label to the section that we have added so i will name it as amount details and for the section there are two options that either you can display it in one column or you can display it in two column and now i'm going to show you how you can add the component visibility to the lightning record page so for example this is the component to which you are going to add the component visibility so as we select it you will see the option on the right hand side of the window that is set component visibility so for that you have to click on the button add filter so for example i want to apply the conditional visibility for the chatter component as when country equals to usa then only the chatter component will be visible and after applying the condition filter we have to click on the done button so this is how you can add the component visibility in the lightning record pages and to add the component visibility on the fields you have to simply click on the field on which you have to add the component visibility and then you will see the option on the right hand side as a set field visibility so i want to set the field visibility that amount will be available that the amount field will be visible when the amount is greater than or equal to 50000 and after applying the filter click on the done button so now you can see this eye icon over the field and the component on which we have applied the component visibility so this is how you can apply conditional visibility to the 
fields and components in the lightning record pages and one more thing that you can add multiple components and fields to a single template region so for example i can add accordion component over here and in this i will show the recent items so this is how you can add multiple component to the record pages and at last we are going to save and deploy this lightning record page and as we click on the save button you will see this activation window so here you have to click on the activate button and there are three options that either you can make this page as org default app default and uh, and make it available for the application record type and the profiles so when you select this record page as a org default it is going to replace the default opportunity or the object record page and when you select as a app default so for example i have a custom application that is sales application and if i am going to deploy this custom record page to the custom application that is sales tech app so i will see the opportunity record page that i have designed right now so here i have selected the application and then we will click on the next and here you will select the form factor that is make it available for the both desktop and phone and then click next and at last click on the save button and now to make this record page available for the profiles again click on the activation and now this time we will go to the app record type and the profile and here click on the button assigned to application record types and profile so here again i will select the custom application and then click next and in the form factor again click on the next button and here select master then click next and now here we have to select the profile for which we want to make this record page available so here i have selected my profile system administrator and then click on the next button and at last click on save so as of now the record page is deployed on the custom application that you have selected so this is the custom application on which i have deployed the opportunity record page so the moment i open any of the opportunity record you will see the custom record page that we have created right now from the lightning app builder so this is how you can create and deploy a custom record page in salesforce using the lightning app builder and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye